What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Online. And today I'd like to talk about donating legendary animal hides to crypts. And I know, may, I know this may sound crazy, but believe me, it works very, very well. The, what I have been doing is going out and doing the legendary missions for Harriet and then donating those hides to crypts to keep my trader roll stocked up non-stop. Um, my trader roll is already 20. All my rolls are already 20. So I'll, I pretty much use the trader roll to, for just a means of income in-game. And I was trying to find a way that I could do different roles at the same time and not have to worry about keeping crypts supplied with animal parts nonstop. It seems like you're hunting pretty much all the time for crypts. Um, so I was thinking, what, what if I donated some of these legendary animal hides? Now, I would not recommend doing this with the animals you, found, you find out in the open world because they're such a pain to find. It's going to take forever to you know sample those and skin those. But what I do is that once I finish sampling and skinning all the hides that Harriet offers in her missions, I started going out and just doing these missions over and then donating these hides to Crips. As you guys know, the double money that we were receiving for samples and hides is over. That was the thing that was the first few days of the, uh, or the first week, I guess, of the natural roll being out. We were getting double money, and I'm sure most of you have noticed now that these samples and the hides do not sell for nowhere near what they used to. So what I do, like I said, I go out and I do these missions for Harriet. Once I've killed and skinned this animal, I will call in my hunting wagon. And if you did not know, you can store things in your hunting wagon and it will be here even if you disconnect, if you get offline and come back online the next day. As long as you put the hide in your hunting wagon, the next time you call in that hunting wagon, it will those hides will be there automatically. A lot of people think, oh God, you know, I disconnected, you know, I had the stuff in my hunting wagon, it's going to be gone. That is not the case. That stuff stores. So as long as you can get that legendary hide into that hunting wagon, you're good to go. So what I've been doing is pretty much just keeping five to ten hides in my wagon at all times. And then when Crips gets low, I will just go and resupply him with these legendary hides. You're going to get around 45 to 59 parts per hide, depending on which hide it is. And like I said, it is very good just to keep him going all the time. You don't really have to worry about going out and collecting any carcasses or any skins or what's, anything like that whatsoever. I would really like to see how much you get from a, a carcass because, you know, everything that you get in Harriet's missions you either can skin or sample. I wish you could take the entire animal because like I said most of these skins from empty you're going to see my bar is going to fill up almost halfway. So what I've been doing is either letting letting Crips get completely empty and giving him giving him two legendary highs to fill the bar all the way up or just consistently once it gets about halfway giving him one legendary high to fill the bar back up. Now of course once you get higher uh, ranked through the trader role, if you're not all you know you're not all the way ranked up yet, you will get that uh, pamphlet that gives you the bonus for you know when you turn in items to crypts, it will give you that bonus on the bar. So that is one reason that you're going to see me get a lot more here in this video than some of you may if you just started out you know kind of working on your trader role. Now as I call my wagon in, I kind of left this in the video. I started to take it out, but I thought this was absolutely a, a hilarious. I called in my hunting wagon and I go to it and it's on fire and the wheel falls off, but Anyway, it is what it is, but like I said, guys, this is a great way to keep that trader roll going nonstop. What I've been doing is just doing my trader roll, doing the moonshine roll, and while I'm waiting on that moonshine to be done, while I'm waiting on the trader stuff to be, be completed, I've been running bounties in between that for the bounty hunter. I've been doing other stuff for the naturalist roll, selling samples, completing those sets. This just gives you a lot of leeway uh, by donating these legendary hides to do other things in game at the same time. And I think that is really good. Because like I said, all you're going to have to do is come over here and do resupply missions for Crips. You're never going to have to worry about going to find hides or carcasses. If you keep enough legendary animal hides in your wagon, you're going to be able to keep Crips stocked up permanently as long as you want. And one thing I will recommend, you'll see here in just a second, I left it in here for the purpose of the video, like the horns and the claws and things like that you get from these legendary animals. There is no need to donate those to Crips. As you're going to see, it's not really going to move the bar that much like the hide does. I would just keep those and sell them either to Gus or sell them to the butcher or whatever the case may be. But as you're going to see when we get up uh, to the top here to the material section, it is a massive amount that you get. You know, you get a large amount right there, but once you get the bonus, it's even bigger. But as you can see, the other parts don't really give a lot. The gold carcass itself, the legendary carcass itself, gives a massive amount of parts. Like I said, depending on what animal you have, you're going to be getting anywhere from 45 to almost 59 parts per carcass. So if you keep these, like I said, a good stockpile in your hunting wagon, you're going to be able to 
keep crips stocked nonstop, and you're never going to have to worry about going out and hunting. You can just go out, do a resupply mission for them here and there, and do whatever else you want to make money in game. I hope this was informative enough and kind of uh, you know gave you enough information about how to do this. I think it's a great way to do it. I think it's a great way to use those legendary animal hides that you can get from the missions that Harriet gives you. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out everything down in the description. The affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing, is listed down there. The community discord and my Twitter is down there as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.